Lisa with InkandInspirations.com. Welcome and thank you for joining me. In this video, I wanted to give you the how-to for this little St. Patrick's Day leprechaun hat that can hold treats because it's hollow in the middle in the top part of the hat. So let me show you how I put that together. First of all, you're going to need a circle for the base, and this is about a three and a half inch circle. If you're using the circle framelits, it's the scallop, they have the scallop, and then another one, and it's the third one in, you know, counting the scallop. And that's what I used to cut my circle out of gumball green. And then I kind of uh, curled up the edges a little bit with my bone folder and sponged around the edges with early espresso ink. Now for the top part of the hat, I have a three and a half by six piece of, dis of gumball green cardstock, and I'm going to score it at one half inch, and then again at three quarter inches. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is fold on the score lines, okay. And this top one is just a marker to line up uh, the hat brim. But on this bottom one, I'm going to take my scissors and just cut every one quarter or so inch all the way up to that first score line. That was that half inch score line. Okay, now what I'm going to do next is take some washi tape because this is the easiest to use and you could use a strip of designer paper probably one half inch by six but this is easy it's already got the adhesive and so I'm going to use these for my hat brim next I want to kind of curl this a little bit so it's easy to roll up and then I'm going to take some sticky strip and put it right here along the edge and adhere this together and I'll be right back. Okay, so now I have the tube made and you can see all these little slits that we cut. Those will fold in really easily and some will overlap each other, that's okay. That's going to be uh, a base so that we can adhere it to the top of the brim of the hat. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take sticky strip again and I'm going to cut small pieces. I'm not going to try to make it go in a circle. I'm just going to take the end here and with these little tabs folded down, I'm just going to put little pieces all the way around and snip it off. And you don't have to do a complete coverage, just enough to adhere it to the base. Okay, so I'm going to do that, say three times, and I'll be right back. Okay, so you can see where I've put sticky strip. I ended up putting four little pieces. I've already pulled the red line off, and then I'm just going to center it on the hat brim down here at the bottom. Okay, and now we can embellish it a little bit. For the buckle on the hat band, I'm going to use my one inch square punch and my cur uh, petite curly label punch. And when you're layering punches to cut out the center so that it looks like a buckle, you want to start with the little, the smallest punch first, and be sure you have enough room to punch around it. You can see I'm using my scraps here. And then just come around it like this, and you have a little buckle for the hat band. And I want this in the front, so I think I'm going to use just a couple of mini glue dots on the top and bottom. I might have to fold them over so that they don't stick out from behind it. So I'm just going to bend that like that and then put it there. And there's my little hat band. And now I want a four leaf clover to decorate as well. So I cut some hearts. Well, first I stamped. Uh, a chevron image in the tone on tone look. I use this uh, oval here from the Oh Hello set and I used my heart from the circle card thinlets die, the framelits, the thinlets from Stampin' Up! 
and cut four of the hearts and spun it around the edges with early espresso. And then I'm going to use mini glue dots to attach the centers to form a four leaf clover. So I'm gonna use one on the point here and just start layering just like this. And then I'll do the same with these other two to make a four leaf clover. And then I have a one half inch circle punch of the, the uh, champagne glimmer paper that I'll glue right in the middle and then I'll be back to attach it to the hat. Okay, so here I have my four leaf clover ready to go. And if you wanted to just make a shamrock with the, just the three, you could do that as well and just put, make a little stem with a piece of cardstock coming down. Um, and then to adhere it to the side of the tube here, you want to just put glue dots on one edge. And so let me get this new roll here and put a couple over here on this side so that I can attach it just like that. Okay, and then it's ready for some treats for St. Patrick's Day. So I hope you'll give that a try. It's really an easy little treat box and really cute for St. Patrick's Day. If you have any questions, please email me at lisa at inkandinspirations.com. Visit my blog for more ideas, and I will see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.